If there's one fundamental truth about working with fireworks, it is that everything has properties, and I mean everything. The canvas has properties, the objects on the canvas have properties, even the tools have properties. So to get yourself started, I want you to open up the fwuser underscore properties.png file that's located in your exercise folder. When the file opens, I want you to come down here and make sure you've got your properties panel open. That's just right here, properties, click, click. And right now, if you've got nothing selected, you're looking at the document properties. And that means you can change the canvas color, change the canvas size, change the image size. If there's an image that fills the size of the canvas, you can even fit the canvas. That means if you have more canvas than you have objects, you just click this button and the canvas will shrink to fill the area. You can optimize images and you can even apply states. Now, as I said, that this menu is context sensitive. And by that, I mean what you select has the properties specific to it. So if you click on this little guy here, the door picture, you can see that immediately the selected object's properties are reflected in the properties panel. And it's telling me that it's a bitmap named door. It has width and a height property. So it's a width of 197, a height of 384. And it's located 799 pixels from the left. And it is exactly 114 pixels from the top of the page. And if I change any of these numbers, so for instance, let's change 114 to, oh, I don't know, let's uh, pick 150, and then hit the Enter key, you'll notice that the object moves precisely to that location. Let's undo that, Command or Control Z. So you can do it by the numbers. Now this little box right here is really kind of cool. If you select it, what this does is it constrains the proportions of the change. So if I want to change the width, we'll say to 200 pixels, it's not going to stretch. It's actually going to scale in proportion. So if I need that to fit an exact width of 200 pixels, I'll just select that number, 200, and watch what happens to the height number. It changes to 390. So it did not distort. Okay, let's undo that, Command or Control Z. If you click on the text up here, you'll notice that all the text properties appear. Again, the width and the height and the X and the Y coordinates of it, the text that's in the text box, the font, you can change the kerning and tracking, you can do the letting, you can change the weight of the text, regular, bold, italic, whatever weights or styles are available in the selected font, they'll be reflected there. But these are all the text properties. Now, the other cool feature of working with fireworks is that the tools are also context sensitive. So if we come down to the bitmap tools here and we select the lasso tool, you'll notice that as soon as you click it, the properties change. It tells you you've selected the lasso tool, how to deal with the edges of the selection, and even whether the marquee is live or not. With the crop tool, you can change the crop size just by grabbing the corners here, but you can also do it by the numbers. So if I need a crop that's only 600 pixels wide, I can deselect that little box, type in 600, and you see that it immediately changes to that shape. Okay, I'm going to change the selection tool. If I come to this tool here, the rectangle tool, and I want to draw a rectangle, all the properties for the tool that I wish to draw are reflected. So this is one huge, huge time saver and offers you a degree of precision. Remember, Everything has properties, and the properties for whatever tool or object you select, including the canvas, will be reflected in the properties panel.